welcome today we are going to talk about my hair growth experiment or whatever you like to call it yeah and um, let me tell you about what it is or was from July 2017 I decided that I wanted to measure my hair monthly and sure it's fun to keep track of my growth but that was never the goal. The reason I did it was because I wanted to see what affects my hair growth in any way. And this experiment was meant to run for a year, but I extended it because it was so easy to measure my hair monthly. So I have been doing it from July 2017 until the end of January end of December 2020 and you already know why I have been doing it so what was the result that's what you want to know but before that I am going to tell you a little bit of the foundation where am I starting from so I am a lacto ovo vegetarian I eat quite a healthy and variety diet I drink healthy amount of water every day. I live quite an active life. I move around and walk a lot with in my work. I am quite active during my free time. I enjoy exercising when I can. So now we are going to start with the fun bit. What did in any way increase my hair growth? So there are two things, or one thing that I'm completely sure, and that is exercising as if the goal was to die in my own sweat. Yeah, so I already told you, I am exercising, and this daily or regular exercise does nothing, lifting a bit of weight, cycling or whatever. But exercising as if the goal was to die in my own sweat, as if I woke up one day and realized that I am going to be in the Olympics next week, I have to exercise. And well, this might sound weird that I do this, not mainly for my hair growth, but because I enjoy exercising and it can be fun to do some really heavy, intense workout sometimes as if I wanted to die in my own sweat because who doesn't but yes this has been able to give me up to one extra centimeter growth if I do this several days a week or at least two days in a row I have been able to get one extra centimeter in one month yes. and the next thing I'm a type, the type of person who wants to stay, stay pale and not be in the sun and I'm also the type of person who fails badly at this every year because during the summer I walk a lot, a lot outside like construction, go walking around, uh, lifting heavy stuff, gardening and I've already told you that sweating, moving around a lot, has affected my hair growth. So that is why I can't be completely sure that being out in the sun affects my hair growth. But I have been able to see an increased hair growth up to one more centimeter a month. When I have been a lot in the sun and doing moderate sweating. Or whatever. Is that a word? A thing moderate sweating during the summer yeah okay so i say that i'm about 80 percent sure that yes being a lot in the sun does affect my hair growth and yes i am taking vitamin d when i'm not in the sun and that does not affect my hair growth but yes this yeah so if I were to be in the sun daily, all the year round, it might be a different thing, but in Sweden we sometimes don't see the sun for months, so yeah. So, that's the two things that has increased my hair growth. And now, what has not in any way affected
like I say, my hero. So, let's talk about diet first. I am already eating vitamin B12 because I don't eat meat. And I am taking vitamin D when I'm not in the sun. But other than that, I've tried some hair growth vitamins. Didn't do a thing. I have tried to increase my protein intake, fiber intake, and uh, eat, just eating extra healthy for a longer period of time. One week is not enough. But while it has been good for my body to eat more fiber and such, it has not affected my hair in any way. I have been doing daily scalp massages. I am using my ball bristle brush quite a lot to really brush my scalp. I actually have a video about it. And this is not something that I'm going to stop doing because it has been, it is very good for my scalp health, but it has in no way affected my hair growth. I have been trying caffeine on my scalp, actually daily for a while, just to see if it did anything, and no, it didn't do a thing. I have probably been trying more stuff, but because <laughs> they haven't done anything, I have gone to remember them, so sorry, I can't even mention them now. But yeah, and the next thing is probably the least fun thing, but still very interesting and that is what has decreased my hair growth and first I want to mention one thing that has not yeah I'm weird but uh, I have quite bad joints since forever and I also get lots of inflammation this can to some degree be be not fixed I can get leaves less of, of them with diets and so on, but I still get them. And I was actually surprised to see that badly inflamed knees or like wrists does not in any way affect my hair growth. So having my knees swollen up to the double size does not affect my hair growth. But what does is inflammations closer to my head. So I sometimes get inflamed in my neck area, like joints and muscles, and this can decrease my hair growth, so I can get like half a centimeter less that month that I'm walking around with that heavy inflammation, yes, a little small one does not affect it. And my jaws, when they get badly inflamed, like I can open my mouth maybe this much, and it's painful. My hair growth can completely stop that month and it's not weird. I'm just surprised that it's only these inflammations that has affected it. And the other thing that has been able to slow down my hair growth is being very, very sick. Like being at home, half unconscious with high fever. And that's kind of on, on the topping topic this year and last, but yeah, getting really, really sick does slow down my hair growth. So yeah, these are the things that have or have not affected my hair growth, but we are not done. I still want to talk about a few more things. So the, f the first thing is why have I been measuring my hair monthly and is this video reliable yes first of all you have to know how much does your hair grow every month to even say be able to say that yes this has affected my hair growth so you need to measure your hair for an extended period of time and also if you are going to say that this thing has increased my hair growth you need to either get the result for a extended period of time like say a few months or again and again and again and again and that is what I have seen like with exercise it has happened again and again and again every time I have been trying to die in my own sweats yes and no I'm not willing to do that month after month after month 
of the month because I don't have the time, I don't have the, have the energy and it's not that important to get a few centimeters extra of hair growth and I can't be sure that I would I pro probably wouldn't be able to get like 24 centimeter in a year so my average growth rate is one centimeter a month meaning 12 centimeters a year and the most I have gotten in a year during the time that I have measured my hair has been 15 centimeters because you see just because I like or you like to measure your hair monthly does not mean that's the grow growth cycle of your hair so that is why I measure it monthly I like to look back how much have, has it grown in three months six months and a year so uh, yeah 15 centimeters is the most that I have gotten I might have been able to get more if I had really been trying to but why and yeah so let's take an example you live in Sweden it's dark during the winter and now it's May you hear of this Yes, my responsible hair girl on YouTube tell you that this supplement that I am only getting a little bit of money for, this is what made my hair growth. I got, I became Rapunzel overnight. And you decide that I want to try this. So, first you live in Sweden, it's May. You start spending time outside, outside in the sun. And you decide that I want to get healthy. So you start running for free, three days a week and by the end of the summer you can see that yes my hair growth has rate has doubled but how can you know that it was this super super supplement how you have been doing all these things you have been running you have been spending time in the sun so in order to get a reliable result you can only change that one thing at a time so changing, taking a supplement or working out more because otherwise you can't be sure what has affected your hair growth. That said, there's nothing wrong if you want to try this supplement and start running, start spending time in the sun. It's just that you can't determine if it has for sure increased your hair growth unless you stop all these other things during the winter and just take this supplement and can still see results. But yeah, that is why I have been doing this for a long time. That is why I don't trust these videos that do like, oh, I'm doing this super thing for a week and my hair grew this much. Because, first of all, we don't know how much their hair grows monthly or yearly or whatever. My hair growth is average. I have friends whose hair grows at a double speed of mine and yes I still am the one with the longest hair because patience and treating your hair kindly really is the key to getting long hair fast and of course a healthy lifestyle so yes this is my personal experience this is my journey your mind might not look the same so why don't you let me know have you ever been doing something like this are you measuring your hair uh, monthly or whatever would you be willing to do such an experiment to see what affects you or your growth in any way so yeah that's my rumbling and my filling with my hair and if you do did you like this video or if you have any questions or something you want to tell me why don't you tell me in a comment down below or on Instagram or wherever and I will see you next time. Bye!